Hello. As a final note on current mirrors, um, I wanted to draw a quick comparison between all the current mirrors we have studied. And so I've created this chart, a uh, comparison of current mirrors, where I list all the uh, different current mirrors we have seen using BJD transistors. Um, and I wrote down the corresponding current transfer ratios, meaning the ratio of the output current to the reference current, as well as the value for the output resistance R out. And so we have for the basic mirror, uh, the transfer ratio is 1 over 1 plus 2 divided by beta, R out of little r o. For the base compensated mirror, we got an improvement in the current transfer ratio um, by modifying the term um, in the denominator. Uh, instead of being 1 over 1 plus uh, 2 over beta, it was now 1 over 1 plus 2 over uh, beta 3 times beta, beta 3 being the beta value for the, uh, the uh, beta helper or the transistor Q3 that was compensating for the base current. Um, as we saw, it's um, not always accurate to express this as 1 plus 2 over beta square because the collector current of transistor Q3 is much smaller than the collector current of the other transistors, and so the values of beta are not necessarily comparable. Uh, but it's an improvement with respect to the basic mirror nonetheless, same output resistance, higher transistor count. The emitter degenerated current mirror had the advantage that the current ratio Uh, the current transfer ratio was proportional to the ratio of the um, resistors, and so perhaps better for discrete applications. Um, an improvement in the output resistance, an increase in the output resistance um, with a maximum value of 1 plus uh, beta, uh, but that will be when R2 is equal to infinity. Um, what is the Whittler current source? Um, the current transfer ratio, we didn't exactly express it like this, but if you look at the expressions for I reference and I output, it will be um, the exponential function of the delta in uh, BBEs divided by Pt. And um, same R out resistance as e m i t e r generated. Advantage of the Whittler current source is that it allows to generate very small currents without using very large resistors. That was the main advantage with respect to the basic mirror. Um, the Wilson mirror, um, good current transfer ratio and uh, good output resistance. So an improvement with respect to the basic mirror. Um, and the CAS code, uh, very good current transfer ratio as well. And uh, the best that out of all the configurations. Um, so those two at the bottom have the best performance overall. at the expense of a higher transistor count as well as lower compliance range because they have more transistors at the output. Uh, as a final note, I also wanted to um, perhaps mention that all of the current sources that we have studied so far, uh, we have studied using NPN transistors, but there is a PMP equivalent for all those current sources. Um, so basically, little design note here, all these current mirrors uh, can be constructed or designed using MPNs or PMPs. Um, in the case of the MPN transistors, they are draining the current In the case of the PMP transistors, they will be sourcing the current to the circuit. Um, now, something we want to keep in mind, though, is that uh, PMP current sources um, typically compare to the MPN equivalents as follows. So, PMP sources will typically have the following characteristics. Uh, one is lower beta values for PMP transistors, which translates into uh, less accurate current sources. So our current transfer ratio is not going to be as good uh, for an MPN current source. So lower beta values will yield smaller current transfer ratios. Uh, 
Uh, second characteristic is that uh, PMP transistors in, generally, in general will have lower uh, values for the early voltage. And as you can see, most of these output resistances are directly dependent on the value of little rho, which is related to the value of the early voltage. Is the early voltage divided by the collector current approximately. So lower early voltage values will typically yield a smaller output resistance than the MPN counterparts. And in general, uh, because of the lower mobility of the type of carrier, the um, holes versus electrons, we will typically have lower current drive capability. So less current handling capability. Um, but nonetheless, uh, they are used, um, and in large circuits you will see that both types will be used, uh, PMP sources and MPN sources, and we will see examples of both, um, both in this chapter, but also once we move uh, on to um, the differential amplifier. Thank you.